welcome back. So as promised, we have some, we've got some milling to do today. Some, some saw milling. And Eric and I are gonna unload the, the mill. Uh, let's time it and see how long it takes two rookies to put it together. But I think <laughs> probably 20 minutes or so we should have it up. Yeah. Surprisingly light. Wow, that's so light. Okay, so this will go just like it is on the right hand side. What are you getting yourself into here? Apparently I'm going to use an electric chainsaw for the first time. I'm kind of excited, it looks really simple. But so, I've got to put a little bar oil in first. I probably don't need the, the bug for that quite yet. For burning, um, you know, I'm thinking a good hefty piece here, good uh -huh. four inches. Uh -huh. You know, I was kind of standing them up and then just buzzing these little bits off okay. and then cutting them into 16 inch lengths. Okay. So, you know, I'd say as, as big as your biceps would be great, you know. Okay. Your bar is 16 inches, so if you want to measure it with that bar, it'll tell you where to cut. That length. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't have to be exact, but, you know, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll get it. <laughs> Okay, so it took Eric and I about uh, 20 minutes or so fumbling around to get it put together. If we did it again, we could do it in 10. Uh, so we're gonna take, uh, it's all ready. Uh, we're gonna take uh, the power head off, uh, wheel it over there and we'll put that on the rails and get our first log going. Let's do this. I don't think we're gonna need ramps, Eric. We might as well just, uh, we'll see how heavy it is. This ends will be light, and we'll transfer. Oh, these wheels. I was going to say, I didn't uh, hear, understand what yeah. this is. This whole trailer's tipping. Yeah, it might do that. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to just slowly lower it down. You ready? Yeah. Okay, good. Sweet. Now, we'll just roll it over here. So I messed up and forgot to uh, install the battery to the sawmill. So we are, uh, this is how they do it in Australia. They improvise, they overcome, they adapt. We stole the battery out of the John Deere, which is pretty large, but we just have not a quarter of an inch to spare with that cable, but I think that'll work. Is that gonna fit on there? Yeah. Get the wrenches in there. There's a will, there's a way. Double crescent wrench, one metric, one standard. That's nice. I'm telling you, man. I'm getting the impression you like that chainsaw. I love it. It's so easy to use. The only problem is it's the wrong brand. <laughs> and it's quiet. It's not the wrong brand. We have a lot of the... A Swedish woman should have a Swedish electric chainsaw. <sighs> well, I use what I have. You know what's nice? Do you like it? I, I love it. It's easy. You don't get as tired because you don't have to start and stop all the time when yeah. you're limbing and cleaning up these kind of things. And it's nice to just like saw the piles in half so that next year when they have their burn pile, it, it's a, easier to handle. A year ago, I would have thought that those were a joke, but I saw Jack, he bucked with that yesterday. Yeah. Three of those trees yeah. on one battery, and it was still uh, two-thirds when we shut it off. That is great. Yeah. Is, this, is this ours? It is. Okay, so well, this is a PV. Like this is, they've been making these things forever. <laughs> How you do it is you get on the downhill side the way, the opposite of where you want yep. to roll it. This is called the cant hook here. So you hold that up with your hand, and you throw it 
and jam it in there kind of horizontally. <laughs> yeah. Now you can use the leverage of the bar and you can roll it over. Now work if you work with uh, someone else, you can they'll have uh, a wedge or something right there yeah. that they'll put it in to stop it from rolling backwards. And then pull it out if it will stay on its own. You can just come back again and oh, nice. shove it in there and easily roll your logs. Six more. Six more. The human tractor. Just like the Egyptian. <laughs> Without the slaves. With a leg, Hercules. Get in there, Mrs. Debbie, you'll end the hand. Oh, sorry, not me. No, no, you're good. It's just. Oh! Nice. That's why it was a knot there. See? Wow, that's tough. All right. Okay, now he's going to pull. Okay. No, do it the other way. Split, flip it 90 degrees. I'm going to keep coming if I can. There you go. Ready with the block? Yeah. Do it good, keep coming. Okay, block it up. That's all I got here. Feel good? Like this, Cody? Yeah, whatever it'll That doesn't hold. seem right to me. Let it roll back. Okay. Okay. See? Oh. He's going to get a bite. Now get inside where you can be of use. Careful. Nice and easy. All right. So, uh, you got some good pressure. You got it blocked. Good. You got it? Yep. Feeling good? So, how, how far are we? And we're just going to bring it over a little bit more and now our trick is going to be to get some blocks it's, under it it's blocked blocked all right ready yeah right slide down towards that one more, one more yeah. quarter inch there we go okay let's reposition hold it right there don okay. i'm gonna get another bite and then we can oh, nice. and then you're gonna shove it under you ready eric yes okay go. good okay now we can straight so I'll flip the log, Eric. Oh, okay. And you just pull that where you need it. Let's see if I get a better light here. Ready? Yes. This is it's rolling the other way. It's okay. You got it. Uh -huh. I need to rotate this. Okay. Um, so let's let's lay it down for a sec. I want to rotate this thing around so this two by four is on top. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Good. So I'm gonna lift it one more time. And you can pull, probably pull that back a little bit. Pull which back? It looks like it's sticking out that way. Okay, got it. So, Go. three, two, one. Good there? Good, looks You're great. You're cracking the two guys. Okay, right, they're fine. It's, I think it's the... Lift it one more time if you want right, to I'll shove the cribbing. Okay. If you keep the uh, log from rolling. Okay. Okay, go. Good? Good. Looks great. All right, so do we want to center it a little bit more? Or are we just this end looks it? good. I'll just bar, if you can put a block right there. There's a, here, hold this. Got it. I'm going to slip by you here. Beer? Nice. Is it beer 30? It Woo! is beer, it is beer well 30. Done. Good job. Awesome. Mrs. W, you almost lost a finger. I didn't, I just got caught between those two pieces. I just put it on the switch. It's a long way Through the cold day Why do I need Besides what I So Eric and I got the sawmill set up. We wanted to have a clue what we were doing before we uh, started videoing. Uh, so we uh, cut up uh, 
well, we ruined one the first log, yeah, well. and then the second one went really well. This is what we got. We got some four by sixes, uh, some two by eights, uh, some four by eights, um, and now we're really set up. So uh, we, this is the le the last piece that we have left over from the second log, and it's too heavy to move. We don't have a tractor, so Eric and Mrs. W are going to cut it into firewood pieces, and then we're going to get this next piece up here uh, so we can start next time. It's getting late in the day. We're going to call it uh, call it a day, and the next time we'll do all the milling uh, that we have time for. So, so Cody, are you going to see who can start their chainsaw first? Oh, is it a race? <laughs> I like this. There's a are race. You ready, Eric? <laughs> okay. Not, o not only starting, but I want to see who can cut the most pieces of firewood. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to move the log. You have to figure it out. Yep. You're both at the same disadvantage, right? Yep. All right, on your mark. It's electric versus gas. Get set. Go. How do you like that saw, Jack? I really like it because it's so quiet. I've never cut with it. How's it compared to a gas saw? I have to say I think it's better. Just a little bit though. That was brutal. Uh, let's see here. The good book tells us to love our neighbors as ourselves and I for years and years I struggled with that because there were people that I worked with and uh, neighbors that I had that I didn't particularly like, and uh, the, the idea that I had to manufacture or pretend that I loved someone that I didn't um, uh, was uh, a big stumbling block. It was a big barrier for me, and I, I, I always felt that I was uh, not doing something right because I, I, didn't, I knew in my heart that that wasn't really true. Finally, I realized what that meant, and it didn't, doesn't mean to manufacture some fake or false love for someone that you don't. It means that love your neighbor as yourself, treat them as you would treat yourself, and you know, so to quote C.S. Lewis, he, he addresses this and, you know, really helped me un to understand this in one of his books. Uh, and he said, you know what, I, 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 don't, I don't love myself. Um, uh, sometimes I despise some of the things that I do and some of the things that I say and, and how I lazy I am and how inconsiderate I am towards my loved ones. But loving myself means I take care of myself. I make sure that I'm fed. I make sure that I have plenty of warm clothing. I, I make sure that I have gas in my car and the things that I need to do what I need to do. And that's what it means. So loving your neighbor as yourself doesn't mean that you need to manufacture something that doesn't exist. It means that you would treat them the way that you would treat yourself. The point I'm trying to make is that um, the thing that uh, brings the most joy in life is to be able to, to share the things that you have, whether that be time uh, or gifts or resources uh, with friends and family, with other folks. And that, and that's that's the only thing. So the, the point, and I'm not saying, oh, you know, look at me or, or give me big accolades or pat on the back because I went over and helped a friend. What I'm saying is that that's the, that's the essence of life. That's the things that bring the most joy um, are the selfless acts. And uh, I have had plenty of uh, people that have come over. My neighbor, Russell, for example, when we first moved here, came over and donated his time to help me get the homestead going and get the fences up and all those things. And it's, uh, I, I, I love to be able to, I, I love how that reciprocity works. I love to be able to, to receive help uh, and to be able to give help. Um, and this is what's so wonderful about our relationship with Don and Eric is, is that we have this reciprocity. They do for us and we do for them and back and forth and, and, and we end up trying to outgive one another. Um, and it's a joy to be able to do it. And I feel very blessed to have such good friends. And we had we just had a wonderful time out there. So to address just a couple of questions. Um, so uh, what uh, Eric and Don did, what they offered us is that um, I said, we don't really need all of this wood. If you guys could use it, um, uh, you're welcome to have it. So that's why we brought the sawmill over is is because we are um, we want to build um, ex rebuild our deck. It's getting kind of rotten and old. And I thought, how nice would it be to be able to cut all of our timber and all of the lumbers and the framing material uh, for the new deck uh, from local trees um, off of our friend's property? So the reason why we took the sawmill out there is for that. So there'll be more of that in the future uh, coming up. It is uh, today is Monday. Uh, and Jack's off at camp this week, so we won't have his help. And we wanted to wait till we could do everything together. So we are scheduled to go back next Friday um, and to mill the rest of the timbers. So we'll have um, we'll, we'll, that will be coming up. Also, I hate to leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but it's totally intentional. Um, on the next video, I'll up the little I'll upload the little competition uh, between the electric 
and the gas, small gas chainsaw between uh, Eric and Mrs. W. And I think you'll enjoy that. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys all have a blessed week and we'll see you guys in the next video.